Well, here we are. It is August 26, 2012. Uh, almost about a year since I started this. And uh, it's a little bittersweet. Um, we're a little bit over the year mark. I think I started in July or something like that. But, um, or maybe it was in June. Yeah, it had to have been because it was towards the end of the year. Anyway, here we go. Episode 52. <laughs> Come on, bro! As I promised, I'm going to do a question and answer episode. Uh, I know I'm supposed to be redoing episode 50, and I'm still really going to try to do that, but there's no point in dragging this out any longer than it needs to. I'm just getting busier with school starting, and uh, I wanted to answer these questions before everyone totally forgot about me. Uh, it's funny, uh, you go away for a little while and your episodes don't get any less popular, any more popular. <laughs> My uh, last video I did was the lowest uh, video count I have ever had. Probably one of the most meaningful videos I did coming back from Uganda, but uh, we'll talk about that more in a second. So, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, thank you for submitting your questions. And uh, hopefully I answer them to my best of my ability and hopefully you're satisfied with them. So here we go. First question comes from a girl named Anaconda. Uh, the question is, will you marry me? Hmm. Yes, I will marry you. How does tomorrow at 4.30 sound? The second question comes from that guy Murdoch, which is from one of the Murdoch uh, brothers. Not sure which one it is. But the um, question is, you should check out the Cinnamon Challenge and do it. Uh, those get a few. Those get pretty good views. Ha ha. What? Yeah. So I've done it, kind of. Thanks for the uh, question. Um, but, but second question comes from Cassidy. So Cassidy says, uh, in June, you could do a Come On Bro special event when you come to my wedding in Hawaii. Yeah, sure. No problem. I'll do a Come On Bro travel edition slash Cassidy's wedding edition in Hawaii. So uh, I think that's a formal invitation. Will you fly me there too, Cassidy? Question. Hey, uh, this, this next question comes from Locust Eater. He has a couple of questions on here. Thanks for being a great fan. First question says, hey, for your question A, it might be cool to see your video recording setup, what you use uh, for your photos you take, which I assume is your phone. It's actually my iPhone. Uh, this is actually my rec recording setup. Um, this is my room. Uh, there's my bed, and I can just take you around really quickly. It's kind of dark in here. And there's my wall, and here's my like, little office, my closet, my door. And this is, in fact, where I set up everything. That's where my computer usually sits, and it kind of just sits back at me. And uh, yeah, so for an actual for actual recording, I use a seven a 15 inch MacBook Pro uh, with the HD camera built into it. And yeah. And for my photos, I definitely use my iPhone, and I use the, the iPhone for also taking video of people in public. So there you go. I have all Apple everything. It takes about 18 to 20 minutes of footage to take down, which gets cut down and edited into anywhere from three to five minutes. To write out an episode, it's about a page and a half worth of stuff, and not everything makes it to the editor's director, my director's cut. And it takes about probably like 20, like that probably takes an hour and a half to write. And then if I can that same day, I have to shoot it, which takes about 20 minutes. And then to actually edit the video, it takes like close to five hours, depending on how many cuts I have to make, depending on how many videos I have to put in, depending on how, many extra, how much extra stuff I need to get put in there. So it could sometimes take a couple of days just to do that. Uh, next question comes from Sarah Liz, 85. Thanks for the question. She says, when does Come On Bro Season 2 start? Never. <laughs> I'm only doing uh, 52 episodes. I might do some specials here and there uh, just to case some funny things up. For instance, I was going to do an entire episode dedicated to uh, the Y&R kids. I think it's the Young and Rich Kids, that song Hot Cheetos and Takis. Uh, I have never heard of Takis, but I love Hot Cheetos, and the song is freaking amazing. It's Hot Cheetos and Takis. Hot Cheetos and Takis. You can catch me in my crew. 
It's hilarious, it's really well shot, and I'll give them a special. Come on, bro. We're doing a really good job with that video. I mean, I know it probably wasn't you kids doing it, but it's a catchy song. I wish it was on iTunes. Maybe it is now, but it's literally getting so many views and plays, and hopefully those kids will perform it, and I'll actually go and see it. But there won't be a season two. Uh, this is it. Maybe I'll move on to something else, a different project. I'm not quite sure yet what it is, but this is it. This is all you get. Season one, that's it. I'm sure you guys are sick of me as it is. Oh, so thank you for your question. Uh, next question from Young J Zero Zero. Thanks again. You have a couple questions on here. Your first question is, why are you only doing fifty-two episodes? Well, I figured fifty-two was a good number to stop at. It's one episode per week, technically. If I was doing it, I've skipped a bunch of weeks, so I'm a little bit over that mark, and I think I've done a little bit more than fifty-two episodes. But it was a fun little project for me to start. It was literally just one night. I was at home and I had a picture of a dude in toe shoes and I just was saying, come on, bro, a lot to my friends. I'm like, come on, bro, come on, bro, just for something like that. And I thought it'd be funny if I just took an actual, um, a status update I did on Facebook where I explained, you know, this, I said, I think in the, the status was actually uh, word for word what I said in my video, like, uh, you should never wear toe shoes, you know, except if you're going to do such and such things. And I mean, Pharrell Williams couldn't even make these things look cool. And he rocks snowboarding boots. Come on, bro. So it started from that little rant and it spread into other things. And, you know, I just get busy and I realized really, really early on how not funny I was and how unpopular I was on the Internet by only getting certain amounts of views. And, uh. It was a fun project for a little while. 52 episodes is a lot more than some people do. And I think it was good. It was a good project for me. But uh, I think it's enough. I think I'm uh, hanging that hat up. So hopefully that answers your question. Thanks. Uh, next one, again, comes from Young uh, J 0 In regards to my shoes, what is my grail? I guess if you're asking what is my holy grail of sneaker, if I could have one, if I could find it, would be a pair of uh, 2006 Nike SB Dunk Tiffany Lowe's, I would kill for a pair of those shoes. Um, I've literally considered on many occasions spending upwards around $600 to $1,000 to get a pair. Uh, I don't know why I would ever spend that much money on a pair of shoes, but that would be my holy grail. Or uh, a pair of uh, Jordan 7 Bordeaux, the colorway, the Bordeaux colorway. I love those to death. And I may or may not buy a pair of them because they're... As sad as it is to say, you can get a pair for about two seventy five shipped uh, from uh, Kicks Crew, and uh, it's not bad considering you can't get them anymore. <sighs> so we'll see. But those are my two grails. And if I can get a pair of Yeezy Twos, that'd be awesome. So if anyone out there wants to donate a pair to me, that'd be great. Probably won't get a pair. We have another question by Dione four six four. That's Dione Bolding. That's my boy Jairus's brother. Awesome dude. Thanks for watching. Even though I think you almost stopped watching it at some point in time. I'm not really sure why, but Jairus told me. I think I offended you or something. Anyway, he says, what do, what advice do you have for your fellow sneakerheads? My advice would be, be careful in the streets out there. People are crazy these days for shoes. I don't know why. And, uh, you know, don't risk your life just for a pair of shoes. Uh, please, don't risk your life for a pair of shoes. And someone asked me, I forget who it was. Uh, I had this conversation with someone. If they, they said, now, if someone offered you either uh, they asked me this after i got back from uganda in regards to shoes and i'm sorry i don't remember who it was but they said if you could either buy a pair of yeezy twos for a thousand dollars or uh give a thousand dollars to uh some kids in uganda what would you do and that was an interesting question because before I went to Uganda, I probably would have said, yeah, give me the easiest for a thousand bucks, no problem. Because you can't get them for lower than two thousand or fifteen hundred dollars now. So saving five hundred dollars on a pair of shoes would probably be pretty good. But now after coming back from Uganda and realizing how much little they have and how much money we spend on our things, I'd definitely say just give the the the, the the money to the kids in Uganda. I've actually been selling some of my shoes I don't even wear to raise money to send to, to Uganda uh, just because it impacted me so much and just their lives are uh, amazing down there. So, yeah. Uh-huh. So, that yeah, that was the answer to that question. Whoever it was, again, I'm sorry. 
I know you're a good friend of mine. I know we had this conversation in person, but I just don't remember who it is. Ah. Question from Emily Perlman. I love you so much, Emily. I haven't seen you in a while, and I hope everything's going well in San Diegs. Please say hi to Mochiris, and please say hi to Grace. Uh, but uh, it says, there's only 50, 52 episodes, question mark. Pedro, what will I look forward to every every week now? I don't know. Instagram photos of my come on bro stuff. <laughs> I hashtag come on bro a lot, but I realize it's like about, you know, 8,000 other people that hashtag come on bro. And I wish I could say I started it. So look forward to that. Look forward to my Instagram hashtags of come on bro. Next question comes from Locust Eater again. Again, thanks for all your support. You're, you're the man. Uh, I want to know about the mustache. Is it supposed to be your father or just your inner conscious or just your, uh, or just the antagonist of the video? Admittedly, I haven't seen every video, so maybe you've already explained this. Plus, where's the new video? New video was whenever I got a chance to get around to it. Here is the mustache. You see, it can change from different people. So the mustache, this is actually a prop for my friend Leah her wedding, uh, Leah and Joe Schultz. And uh, so funny, I shot their wedding and this is a prop and I, and I brought it home and I was just putting it on one day and I was just making the voice of the guy who does it. And I was like, this could be a great addition to the video. So the this mustache guy, the mustache guy, and it's so funny when I'm writing my script, it actually says mustache bro uh, when I'm supposed to say something is just a, it's kind of like an alter ego slash antagonist slash inner conscious slash I obviously know the answer to something but I just need a way to segue to that was stupid or like you know what someone would what a naysayer would say this is some this mustache is kind of sometimes Tim Kuska the voice of reason or the uh you know just just someone answering the question just me being uh answering a rhetorical question or just I don't know all these things wrapped up. It's definitely the antagonist. It's not my dad. Yeah, so it's kind of all, all those things mixed up together. Uh, but yeah, I like the mustache guy. He's kind of funny to me, especially when it's my favorite thing to make him say is, got it, got it. I love that. Um, yeah, so that's the mustache guy. He just came as a, a second voice to the video. I was thinking about doing, um, like having cameos and People kept telling me if you weren't going to have consistent cameos, it wouldn't be funny, like if someone wouldn't be in there and uh, all the time, and it wouldn't be funny. So this is a way to have someone else in the video for, uh, you know, and have just to break up the monotony of just seeing my stupid face all the time. So yeah, there you go, Lucas Eater. From Anonymous, what were your favorite videos to do? I have to say that probably my favorite video of all time to shoot was probably the golden episode. A f***ing cuff them jams! Come on, bro! That idea came about when I was still doing like the 30 second videos. And it's a true story. I did go to um, uh, the Maza Gallery or Tyson's Corner or something like that. Yeah, I think it was Tyson's Corner and picked up the pair of shoes and I thought they looked cool. And the price was so outrageous that I was like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, man, come on, bro, who's gonna pay $420 for a pair of shoes? Obviously rappers. And obviously not the, you know, the fat Middle Eastern guy who was trying to sell me the shoes. And so every part of that story was mm -hmm. like, man, come on, bro, are you kidding me? And actually it's funny is that the Asian kid from my Asian episode came from that same day, the guy with the yo-yo. So uh, there's a little insight into that. And another thing about that, uh, that golden episode with the shoes is that Everyone asked, everyone for a, for a while, for like a month, people were like, did you really steal those shoes? Pedro, you didn't really steal those shoes. You're a teacher, you can't steal shoes. How are you gonna steal shoes? And people were like mad at me. Uh, but I did in fact return them. I never did steal them, I just bought them and returned them and I just made a funnier story that I did steal them and maybe that's ruining the, uh, the magic for you. But uh, what's the most and least viewed videos uh, for Come On Bro? The most, Viewed video is episode 40, the marketing video, where I show the guy from uh, the uh, the Coney guy, Jason something, I think his name is. He uh, ran out into the street naked and was, um, 
you know, saying all sorts of crazy stuff, and I just tied it in with a bunch of other things. So that's my most popular video. Why is it? I don't know. Probably because it was popular at the moment, and I caught it at, right, at the right time, and I had the video, and I said not safe for work, and it was slightly more edgy. I like to think it's also because I actually went outside and beat up the bush outside here, uh, topless, not naked, without a shirt on, with a tennis racket at the end of it. That was kind of funny. Um, so yeah. That was my most popular. Uh, quickly followed by the Bob's episode, episode 14, Bob's. Again, I think it's just because uh, I say, I do, I talk about Bob's and how they're so different from Skechers, and I think people are kind of into that. I don't know. Least viewed video is the most recent one. Like I said, episode 51.2 about uh, Uganda, and uh, probably because I hadn't done a video for like weeks at that point in time, because I just got finished traveling. Uh, literally around the world and I hadn't been shooting anything and up, uh, updating any, too much of anything. But the video before that I thought would have gotten a lot of views but it just goes to show that no one really cares. The Never Famous episode is uh, the second least fi uh, v viewed video I think with 100 and maybe 80 views and the other one has like 174 views. Um, Oh yeah, another question by Anonymous is what's your favorite comment you've ever gotten about Come On Bro? which is really funny. Uh, you don't notice this as much as you, you might think. I don't know, maybe you do, but when you have started a YouTube channel people are, and you're a dude, people are so quick to call you gay and call you a faggot. This guy, R.S. Keyer, uh, two months ago said, you're such a f***ing faggot, but your videos, underscore, are entertaining. Subscribed, colon, X. Thank you, I guess. I don't know. That's my favorite comment because it was the most out ridiculous, but it was so, you know, two, two roles were playing there. It was like, nice, thanks for subscribing, but hey, this is what I think about you. Uh, da, da, da. That's it. It's a really long episode. It's like close to 20 minutes and you're probably not even going to sit through this entire thing. And if you've made it to the end, then you found a special place in my heart. So it's been great. It's been a great year and couple months of doing the, ep the doing the show. Uh, come on, bro. Uh, thanks to Derek Torsani for putting together that little uh, come on, bro, and my little mouth moving up and down. He put that together for me for little to no money. Super talented guy. Uh, thanks to my best friend, Mike Eller, for letting me use his camera once during the episode of the sneaker. Oh, no, that was the parenting episode. That's the one that I started my whole sneaker uh, love again. Shout out to JB Sully for having the most comments posted on a video. Uh, most comment, most comments ever from anybody. Uh, you know, you you're faithful in watching the episodes, and thank you. I really appreciate that, and uh, thank you so much for putting me on the uh, blog. That was really funny. Even though Steve Patterson's like, you can't give your shout out to your boy. I believe that as well. <laughs> hey, I had to. And I also I... believe that I was uh, very disappointed when I turned on today, and we're battling over what to watch in my bar and what's on uh, water polo. Come on, bro. That's yeah, a tough you sport. Can't, you can't drop that right the now. Yes, hard. I can. I can do whatever I want. Just give it a shout out to your boy. I did. I did. <laughs> that was that goes out to Pedro. There you go. I'll see you the man for that. Shout out to um, Jesus, JC, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Uh, shout out to all my students who loved uh, my videos, and thank you so much for not, you know telling every one of your little friends about my videos and uh, getting me fired at school. My boy Brandon Murtaugh, who helped me start the Come On Bro uh, Twitter page that gets absolutely no love, but it was his idea for that. Shout out to him. Shout out to my buddy Kalani, who uh, lovingly hates my videos. Uh, you know, shout out to anyone who's ever watched my videos. Uh, shout out to the haters, anyone who's hated my video. Any comment I would have gotten, thank you so much. And uh, that's it. That's a wrap. This is 30 minutes on the time, and that's a long video. I don't know if I'll even be able to upload this and or edit it. This is ridiculous. I have to watch this again and edit it. Ugh. You might see me again in some other form of project. Maybe you won't. I don't know. Please leave your comments at the bottom if you want to. Be pissed off at me if I didn't say your name. And uh, peace and chicken grease. See you later. And for one last time, episode 52, in the darkest room ever, but you can't see anything. You can't even see the double rainbow that's happening right now. Come on, bros! Peace out. You guys are the best. I love you.
Shout out to my boy Jason Ruiz. Uh, thank you so much for reposting my videos and my boy uh, Danny Rodman uh, for trying to make me famous in the Annapolis area, even though I never will be. You're always talking me up in uh, bars and uh, yeah. You're the man. You guys are both the man. Thank you so much. Nick, Richard, I'm sorry I never got a chance to have you in my video and talk about um, ancient aliens, even though I think that would have been funny. Shout out to my boy Jay-Z for the inspiration. This song that you just heard, people have asked and I forgot to say, is a Jay-Z song entitled 1-800-HUSLA off the Dynasty La Rock Familia album. So it's a great song. Check it out. And in the words of my man Wale, if I missed you, I ain't missed you. Peace. I'm sorry this is so dark. Okay, this these cameras on here get the worst light and it's about to be dark here anyway. Oh, there's a rainbow. There's not a double rainbow. Oh, hey, there is a double rainbow. <laughs> Which, uh, by the way, I don't understand why that stupid double rainbow video gets so many views. That blows my mind. Why do videos get so many views on that dumb stuff? I could make a whole episode about that, but I'm not going to. So I'll just give you a, mm, stupid videos about stupid stuff. <sighs> I don't get it. Oh, Jordan Roberts, you did ask me that question. There you go. Jordan Roberts, you asked me that question about the uh, Uganda thing. Yeah, you did. It was Yeah, I was in your classroom putting together the Cat5 cable and you asked me that. That's right. Um, so there you go. Jordan Roberts, you're the man, dude. Thank you for asking me that question.